welcome. You're watching the thrift store one down where we beat Hollywood home on a budget. It is cold in this building. I know. Welcome to fall. That fall breeze is particularly unpleasant, and I'm usually a fairly cold weather kind of guy. But when it's teeth shattering cold to the point where my allergies start to act up on a weekly basis yet again, well, we got issues. So I, like the rest of you, are now turning to comfort foods that warm us from the inside out. Comfort food that warms the appetite as it does the soul. And for that, TSR is turning to a very unlikely yet strangely familiar ally in that department. I say very familiar yet unlikely because this is the first time I've ever reviewed anything related to Chrissy Teigen before. It's the first time I ever bought one of her cookbooks. More specifically, it is the sequel to a New York Times best-selling Cravings cookbook. It is Cravings Hungry for More from Clarkson Potter Publishers. Purchased for $5.99 and for 50% off. Alright, Chrissy, lay it down. Hey everybody, it's Chrissy Teigen. We're here in Los Angeles shooting my second Cravings cookbook. time around I get to please different types of people and try to fix things that maybe I didn't do right the first time and it's a little more exciting that way. A few of the dishes in this second cookbook are really really crazy crazy simple and they were almost so simple that the first time around I didn't want them in the first book. You know I wanted to prove myself and then we were just like listen if something has three ingredients and is cooked to perfection who cares. <laughs> Okay, Chrissy, a very lofty go here. But are all the recipes in this cookbook really, really, really crazy, crazy simple? A lot of willies in that statement, and of course, double the amount of craziness, so you have better deliver. My condolences, by the way, on the loss of your unborn son, Jack. But as it stands, right now, you are on my turf, and you will be given a fair and just review. By the way, as you know, Chrissy Teigen is a multifaceted juggernaut of a talent. Model, television personality, faux judge. Yeah, faux judge. You know, Chrissy's caught with a mom, Pepper Tie, as the bailiff on the now defunct streaming service, Cribby. Go figure. I hate you, Cribby. And of course, proud wife of John Legend and mother of two great kids. But really, a foodie down to a soul? We'll find out. By the way, we're going to be focusing on sandwiches and snacks because, as a great Fazoli's ad told me, and you know Fazoli's, the casual dining Italian restaurant chain, what's the hottest new accessory for people on the go? Sandwiches. By the way, I was sick a couple of weeks ago, and I'm just getting over my latest ailment. Yes, again. So, uh, you want to look into the soup section for soups that will help heal you from the inside out. If you're watching what you're eating, then you will want to turn to the salad section. You want to start your day off slaying the day like the sun sign. Well, then, go ahead and turn to the breakfast and brunch section. By the way, you see a V here that's to any of these recipes. I'm in the content section, by the way. That means that they're either vegan or vegetarian. But you will get a fair amount of meat-based recipes in here. I appreciate that. So anyway, let's go ahead and turn to page 70. Sandwiches. Here we go. Chicken teriyaki burgers with toasted cocoa buns. By the way, you get a load of these food photographs in here. And they all look very tempting and delicious. Chrissy's captions and descriptions, if you will, as brief as they are, are quite impactful and very unapologetic. So much so that I have to give you a word of caution. It's actually a lot of sense of swearing in a lot of these uh, descriptions. Anyway, they give you a list of ingredients here, directions, how many people that the recipes will serve, active cookie time of 30 minutes, and total time in general, which includes preparation and, if necessary, brief but important respites. Jalapeno Parmesan Crusted Grilled Cheese Sandwiches. Now, I fancy a grilled cheese any time, but 
You have one that's encrusted with Parmesan and Jalapeno? Hmm. I might want to try that out. Grilled pork banh mi sandwiches with quick pickles. Another variation on the classic grilled cheese, sweet and spicy pizza and brie. Cheesy knife and fork meatball subs. So really, that should be an open-faced meatball sub if you're going to do a knife and fork style. Pulled barbecue chicken sandwiches with pineapple saw. With a double page photograph right here. So that's going to be a very lengthy recipe. Crispy bacon and sweet pickle patty melts. A classic updated for modern times. And it's not just the food photographs in here that will leave you tempted for more. It's also the photographs of Chrissy and John and the family themselves that will leave you craving for much more to be devoured in here. Philly French Dip Sammies. Grilled Chicken Toast with mashed peas and ricotta. And now we turn to snacks. And how about that? Yeah, very classy to do. Both your two Grammys, John. It is into your MTV Music Award and whatever heck this is. Either from ASCAP uh, or BMI. American Society of Composers, Authors, and Publicists. Or Broadcast Music Incorporated. How do I know? IMDB, folks. And Google. Live it. Learn it. Love it. Read it. Fair amount of snacks in here. Crispy coconut chicken tenders with pineapple chili sauce. Will Thai glazed chicken wings. By the way, Pepper Thai, Chrissy's mom, contributes a fair amount of recipes in here. So much so, she has her own chapter in here. Very doughty daughter to do that for her mom. Onion dip and oven baked potato chips. That will leave those watching their figure craving for more. And you remember what I said about the uh, brief use of obscenities in here? Glam people are very glam. Gluten-free, vegan, nothing about 20 degrees raw, no nightshades or sugar or sort of flavor types. Those people, pardon me, ate the shit out of this dip. Hey, gotta fill in the blank somehow so we don't leave you feeling vague. Chrissy gives a lot of helpful ingredient prep and cookie tips throughout, as indicated by the stars here. And I would like to assume that um, double the stars to triple the stars would equal double or triple the importance of prepping one individual ingredient or multiple at a time. Chicken nachos with avocado salsa. These nachos are with barbecue chicken. And right here on the bottom left hand corner of this section. They're the shit. Hey, her words, not mine. But they do sound like the shit. What else can I say? They're nachos. But why are they just relegated or downgraded really to just being in the bottom left hand corner, barely noticeable? While you guys are sitting around with Chrissy's glam squad, just channel stuffy while Chrissy's getting all glammed up and looking hot. Kind of a disservice, but I'll forgive you for that, Chrissy. Mushroom and crispy salad nachos, another variation on a classic bar finger party food. Or bar food, as you would say in Boston. Hollowed out Italian sandwich with stovetop roasted garlic with garlic oil included. King Hawaiian pulled apart bacon grilled cheese. Once again, well, I'll get into just, you know. Being a supporting cast member, while Chrissy is once again looking glamorous as usual and definitely kind of hot. Holding it, presenting it like the um, <laughs> edible sex symbol that it is. Bacon grilled cheese sandwiches. And yeah, you do like that? They can have a fair amount of sex appeal. I know that's John's hand holding it. <laughs> holding a part of it like he really wants a piece that he does. Peanut butter pretzel granola Clusters. Come on, guys. Make the recipes front and center here, the real stars of this cookbook. I don't really care much for the celeb factor if there's not a certain quality of merit to each recipe. And if there is a quality of merit, if it's a low quality, who would care about the celeb factor in here? Lastly, fluffy corn dogs. Right over here. The ingredients for all recipes are 
ones that you can find right in your pantry or just make a quick trip to the supermarket. So the simple factor is definitely proven right there. Ease of prep and cooking time, well, well that's proven here too. And you know what? As you're reading this and you're making all these recipes, you'll be thinking to yourself, the general vibe you're gonna get in this is very Chrissy Teigen. Unapologetically herself. And so the recipes really equate to that. They're unapologetically delicious sounding and looking. And yet, I'm kind of biased when it comes to, you know, Chrissy's uh, descriptions and captions. In the Tom Yum Noodles uh, Pepper Thai recipe, Chrissy asks, what makes these Tom Yum Noodles so special, you might ask? Well, one, and I'm quoting, you're a dick, and two, they're noodles. Well, really, Chrissy, that's not very nice. But she does acknowledge her fans sporadically throughout, calling us awesome in the process in one of the other recipes. A proper acknowledgement is not made in the acknowledgement section, and believe you me, that's one of my big factors um, in judging a celebrity-based cookbook. So, in balancing every factor in here, well, before I give you my rating, let's just read the back as is custom. Hungry for more? Take us further into Chrissy's kitchen and her life. It's a life of pancakes that reminds you of blueberry pie. Eating onion dip with your glam squad. Banana bread that breaks the internet. That would be Twitter and Uncle Mike's banana bread. And a little something called pad thai. No pun intended, carbonara. After two years of parenthood, falling in love with different flavors, and relearning the healing power of comfort food, this book is like Chrissy's new edible diary. Recipes for quick as a snack meals, recipes for lighter, brighter, healthier-ish living, and the recipes that, well, are going to put you to bed holding your belly, and it will have you hungry for more. Retail prices, $29.99 US, $39.99 in Canada, and as far as I'm concerned, Despite the brief discrepancies in here, Chrissy, you're not the kitchen. Don't act like it. I gotta say, I'm actually craving more from Chrissy. A respectable and excellent four out of five for Chrissy Teigen's debut on the thrift store one down. And yes, I will be keeping an eye out for the original New York Times best-selling book when it hits the thrift shop. In regards to this cookbook, Chrissy, not all of me loves all of you, but you delivered on your promise here, so I guess I'm starting to build that connection. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Stay warm out there.